Hello, hello, hello. Hey, family. Thank you for checking back in with your sister. I know, I know. I said I was not going to do a part two. A lady can change her mind. Let me just say that. We do all the time. As you see, I'm doing a part two on the missing Dylan Brown. Now, I've already, might as well say I did a part one already. And that was like 11 days ago. And um, I want to thank those who are checking back in, um, watching this video. I appreciate you. Um, and thank you also for those who have watched the one I did um, 11 days ago. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for caring and just, you know, um, how many of you are seeking, you know, um, answers? Um, I'm not gonna really say the truth, the truth. You are seeing the truth, but you know what that means to you means something totally different to somebody else. Uh, I'm just led by the spirit, and no matter what you're going to see in here, it is allegedly, it is not facts, it is for entertainment purpose only. Um, I just happen to be like many of you, you know, once I did that reading, I was just sitting back and, you know, um, you know, just letting things flow. I like, I like the things to flow, you know, I let things play out. Uh, Cause I know what came out of my reading and a lot is coming out of others readings as well. Like I said, collectively, we all come together, you know, the puzzle starts to fit. Okay. And I always say the truth does not change. So anyway, um, it's interesting when I was sitting back, you know, I was watching uh, the YouTubers who do uh, commentary on uh, the missing. Um, shout out to Sleuth Bomb and a host of others and a host of others who are putting the work in. They care and they're trying to bring awareness. Uh, much love to my um, most. I'm going to say my I want to say my brothers, but it's mostly my sisters who too have the gift of the spirit, and you watch me. I appreciate you. I thank you for your love and support. Thank you so much, family, um, as well as for those who do commentary on the missing, if you happen to cross my path. Um, much love to you, and thank you for checking in. And um, But anyway, uh, there are others, okay? So much love to all of you. Um, but I know it's on Sloop Mom. They had, she had the PI on there, Um he goes by, um, what's his name? I have my notes. He goes by, um, I think, uh, James, I believe. I believe his name was James, James something. But anyway, um, you know, family, a lot of people was not feeling him because a lot of people feel like he's, he's arrogant and, um, you know, uh, very cocky. Yes, he's all those things collectively, okay? But he's very confident. Let me just say that. And he knows his stuff. He's very good, okay? I picked I pick up on that about him. And a lot of information that came out um, when um, Sleuth Mom um, released the um, phone, shall I say, conversation, um, you know, as far as the words that was coming out of the P.I. Um, James' mouth, um, I sensed a lot of truth with it, okay? I, I can speak for everybody else, but a lot of things that he was saying, a lot of it came out of my reading, okay? And a host of others. It ain't just my ass. And a host of others, okay? And I was seeing those gems that he was dropping. I know, you know, um, when the fact that Jill and, Jill and mom and dad probably wasn't really feeling uh, the information that was coming out, but, you know, the truth never, you know, feels good, uh, no matter how it comes out. Um, they want the truth, but sometimes when they hear certain things, you know, it, it can bother you. But a lot of it, I, I was picking up on it anyway, you know, because a lot of it did come out in my reading. And I, I was seeing a lot of the things that um, the, the PI was talking about. I was like, oh yeah, he's on it. You know, he, he's definitely being putting the work in and um, doing his research. Let me just say that. And, um, but a lot of people, it was hard for them to really, you know, hear what he was saying because it was the, the, the delivery, you know, it's just something about the delivery, you know, uh, if it's not pleasing to people, they ain't trying to hear it. But, um, yeah, I feel like he was dropping a lot of gems 
And um, unfortunately, like I stated in my reading, you know, um, I understand that the family, you know, especially the mom, you know, she doesn't put it out there that she, you know, wants um, facts. OK, I, I understand that. OK, um, but she's not going to get it from the authorities. Let me just say that. OK, and I stated in my reading, they're holding on to a lot of information and they know a lot and they're not going to tell her nor the father, okay? I'm grateful that, you know, the FBI are getting involved, you know, but it's, when it comes to these rumors out here, it, it's a lot of nuggets. It's a lot of gems, okay? It's a lot of truth that are that is coming out, you know. Um, how, how, do they, how do they say the streets be talking? Oh, yes, they do. The streets definitely be talking. So, um, yes. Um, but unfortunately, you know, um, the family is going to have, well, I'm not going to say the family, but I know definitely his mom, you know, and my heart go out to her. It really do. This is not me bashing the mom or the father, but they have had, they had definitely have closed ears to me when it comes to a lot of these gems that are being dropped on social media because a lot of truth is coming out. Now, with that being stated, um, you see the stack right here. This is about what? 38, there's about 38 cards that came out some minutes ago. I was doing my own little private reading. And I used this deck before when I when I was um had did this reading right here at the 41 minute mark, 4150 minute mark. Hey, so that you see it when I did this reading right here at the 41 minute, 4150 mark, 4150 mark, um, you would see me using this deck right here. Okay, this is a shadow aspect deck. First, I would use my tarot deck, and uh, one card stood out. Okay, and it was temptation. I and I wanted to, I wanted um, I wanted to clarify the temptation card, and um, you would see I was using this deck right here, and a lot of information came out. Okay, especially the word jealousy, and um, it came back out. So it's interesting due to all these rumors, due to all these gossip that's going on. Okay, uh. You know, when it comes to jealousy, you know, what was going on around Dylan, okay, in his space, okay, as far as people that he was, you know, letting get close to him, letting him get close to him, okay? What was going on with him to where the word jealousy was a factor, okay? And that's what we really need to look at, you know, what was going on around him to where certain words like resentment and word, key words like how somebody wants to get revenge, you know, at the end of the day, you know, family, when you start to really just narrow it down, okay, because the spirit is really trying to really let us know this is what it is, okay? But, you know, it's nothing wrong with digging, digging, digging. But the way I see it, the truth doesn't change. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go back over this reading again. I'm going to be using different cards. I'm going to use different cards, but I'm definitely going to go back over this, okay? I want to see what's going to come back out. I let me be the judge. And even I, and even I use these uh, I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, I took a picture of all the cards that came out, all 38. Let me just say that. And I want to see what's going to come back out. Those key words, those shadow aspects that were going on around Dylan, on the, uh, as far as we led up to his disappearance, they really need to be paid attention to. And plus, I'm going to use some new, um, some other decks that I didn't use in the first reading, okay? I think it's very important. So let's get with this reading. And once again, much love to you all. Thank you for you know, checking in. It is no coincidence. Okay. I always say we just love there's no competition. So much love to my brothers and sisters out there who are too putting the work in. I love you. I appreciate you. And let's give it this reading. I'm ready to turn this around. All right. And I will not be pausing my video. Okay. As long as my little queen don't come in asking my a thousand questions, uh, I will not be pausing. Okay. So as you see right here, um, let me unplug this real quick, and then I'm going to put it back in, okay? Real quick, these were the cards that came out when I did my private reading. I was sitting on my bed, okay? You see them. And right, well, you see them. I know they're not, you can't see them up that close, all right? But when you're looking at the screen from the right all the way up to the left, you can see what came out, okay? And that was the first card, Hell Hostage. That was the first card that came out, okay? So what I'm gonna do real quick, I'm just gonna read it. I'm just gonna read these um, keywords that came out, okay, family? 
because I really need to get with this reading. I'm going to start over here first. I'm going to start over here first. This is held hostage, distraction, hostility, arrogance, confusion, gossip. And we know it's a lot of that going on now, okay? Nothing but gossip. Hold up. Nothing but gossip is going on. Okay, right here, we have defiance, vindictive. Okay, that's somebody who wants revenge. Dark, you're dealing with a dark individual, or you could say dealing somewhere in the dark. Lustful. Now, the word lustful had came out. I thought that was very interesting. Okay, but anyway. Drunk. Okay. Rejection. Let's move on to the next row. Heartbroken, blindsided, caught off guard, betrayal. For that to be for that to be betrayal, that's someone that you know that's doing this to you. Grudge, somebody holding a grudge, desperation, defiance. Let's move over to the next row. Antagonist, humiliation, feeling humiliation, rebellious, doubtful. Cold, dealing with a cold individual, okay? Someone that's in denial, see that? Let's move over to the next row. Conflicted, all right? Someone who has mixed feelings, okay? Feeling the shame, passive aggression, numbness, okay? Aggression, aloof, okay? Someone acting very distant. Absent-minded, sabotage, sabotage. Let me blow this up. Look at that, sabotage. And Dylan Woods, I truly believe, was sabotage. Regret, someone is feeling regret. Destruction, sudden destruction. Argumentative. Disagreeable. Jealousy. I told many of you when I did the first reading, jealousy is playing a big part. Somebody was jealous. Anxiety. And secretive. Okay? Somebody being very secretive, keeping things to themselves. So, this is what came out when I was sitting on my bed focusing on Dylan. I wanted to know what were those shadow aspects that were going on around Dylan before the unthinkable happened, before he you know, disappeared. Now, I'm going to do this over again. I want to see what all cards are going to come back out. Many of you are welcome to write these certain keywords down to see what's going to come back out. But whatever do come out, please pay attention to those keywords and apply them to what's going on now as far as the key players that are involved. Who are these Who are these keywords describing, family? Who are these keywords describing? All right, family, let me get set up here. Give me a minute. All right, let's get this reading. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to use the same cards, okay? The um, Divine Shadow Self Oracle. This is what came out earlier. See how thick this pal is? This is what came out earlier. This is what didn't come out. I'm going to put it back in here and I'm going to shuffle, okay? And I'm going to shuffle three more times. Let me just get positioned first. Let me get positioned real good. Okay. I'm going to do a three row spread. I'm 
No worries. <laughs> they try to come right back out. If it's meant for them to come back out, they will. Please know that. All right, now I'm going to split my cards. No, I don't. You know what? I don't have to split them. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Let me shuffle one more time. Okay. Divine Spirit, seeking clarity and truth. Holy Spirit, seeking clarity about the disappearance of Dylan Brown will lead up to his disappearance. Not only seeking clarity, but seeking confirmation, which you have already revealed to me. I thank you in advance. Okay, it should be close to what came out earlier or maybe a little, you know, a couple of cards more over, but that's okay. Just pay attention to what comes back out. All right. The spirit is trying to, you know, show us like, look at this, look at this. This is very important. Okay. Now I'm just trying to <clears throat> remember none of this is in divine order. There are timelines. I pretty much set my attention, you know, really up to the disappearance of Dylan. What was those shadow aspects that was going on with Dylan and around him, meaning anybody that has entered his space that caused him to go missing, okay? All right. Let's get with it. Guilt. Antisocial. Desperation. Antagonist. Rejection. So the key word is rejection. Somebody felt rejection, okay? Rejected. Distraction. And when you like this, a person can't catch you off guard because you're not paying attention. Arrogance. In denial. In denial, the so key word is denial, doubtful. And when you and when you were watching these keywords, think about how that day was, okay? Um, you know, um think think about you know what was going on with Dylan that we know of, you know, because uh, we did hear something about you know Dylan was planning on planting some seeds. And I think it rained that day. I'm not I'm not sure. But anyway, just try to see the pictures. 
the image of the pictures that the words are showing us, okay? Disconnection. Feeling disconnection. <clears throat> Jealousy. Came right back out. Now, who is feeling like this about who? Jealousy. That's a new word. Rage. This is someone that's so mad they can't see straight. Desperation. Explosive. Somebody going off from one to ten. Emotions heating up. Vindictive. An individual like this wants revenge. Now, this is what was going on before he went missing. Lustful. This played a part too. Lustful. Who was feeling like this? Dylan was around men's, wasn't he? On the job, allegedly. Who was feeling like this? Lustful. Towards who? Humiliation. Defensive. Cold. There was a cold individual. Or you can say Dylan was feeling cold. Betrayal. So we're not dealing with a stranger family. We're dealing with somebody that he knows. Okay? Anytime betrayal comes out, that that's uh, due to someone that you know that is betraying you. Okay? Someone you trust. That you wouldn't think would do that to you. Heartbroken. Came right back out. Confusion. Bias. Secretive came right back out. Being secretive. Fearful. So pay attention to these keywords because when I'm using my other deck, a lot of these keywords are going to come right back out, family. Closed off. Now, when I get a, when I get this message right here, this lets me know that Dylan is somewhere closed off. He's not out in the open, okay? He's somewhere closed off, hidden. All right. Like I think about, you know, uh, what also stands out to me is when I think about closed off, I think about dead ends, you know, um, just somewhere to where there's not a lot of traffic, if you know what I mean, okay? Closed off, hidden. Or a person can distance themselves from you, okay? Numbness, feeling numbness. That can be an emotional numbness. Dark, the word dark is coming back out again. Are we dealing with a dark individual or dealing somewhere in the dark? Could be both. Look, drunk. So there was some drinking, as I stated in my reading. There was some drinking. Or somebody could have been around Dylan who was a drunk. Gossip. Well, we know this. People are talking. Rebellious. Rebellious. Defiance. Grudge. Somebody holding a grudge. They're still pissed off at you. And they want revenge. Blindsided. We saw the word distraction. So it looked like Dylan was distracted. But somebody caught him off guard. He was blindsided. He, he, didn't, he didn't see this coming. Let me just say that. Thank you, spirit. Held hostage. Dylan was held hostage, okay? 
Somebody was had him somewhere hidden, holding him against his will. Hostility. Yeah, somebody was keeping Dylan from leaving. Coercion. Wow, this is a new word. Coercion. This right here is I'm um, using force or threats. Sorry, right, family. This is using force or threats to get your point across or trying to get someone to do something. Okay. Using force or threats or trying to get someone to do something. Condescending. And lastly, someone being very disrespectful towards Dylan. Somebody was being disrespectful. Let me just say that. All right. So let me see. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. And that was an extra one. 39. All right. So as you see, certain cards did come back out. Doesn't mean the other ones wasn't just as important, but it's those key words we should really be paying attention to. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. I'm going to be using another deck. I'm going to use one of my crime decks, family, okay? Just give me a minute. Like we live by the spirit, which deck I'm going to use. I hate to pull something that I pulled before already. Okay, I was told, no, don't use this one. Okay, let me use this one. You see how thick this is? This is one of my homemade crime decks. I have several of them. I like to put my own energy in my own work. I'm going to shuffle three times, family. <clears throat> Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, the mind spirits can clear it by disappearance of Dylan. The will of confirmation. The lead to the disappearance of Dylan. Dylan, tell your story. Ooh. What a split. Use this first, use this one next. I hope many of you can see. I'm trying to bring it up a little bit, but I'll make sure you're able to see it, okay? All right. Nothing to encourage the disappearance of Dylan. The way the disappearance of Dylan. Round. The way the disappearance of Dylan. Round. The divine clarity of the disappearance of Dylan. Round. Keep those things in the dark. Bring them out to the mob that's like concerning the disappearance of Dylan. Round. <sighs> All I gotta say, I can't make this up. I really cannot. Well, as I stated in my first reading concerning Dylan. Um, I always said that he was a, a beautiful, bright light. Let me just say that, okay? But Dylan was human, all right? He was human. And when a person go missing, parents are always going to, you know, uh, want people to see their child in the best light, okay? Who wouldn't want that? Because we really want 
you know, everyone should just focus on, you know, the individual that's going to missing, you know, um, don't want to speak about no negative aspects of them. But I will say this, the spirit it was describing um, Dylan as far as his character, it has here resolving conflicts, love, empathy, compassion, and understanding. So this, this should tell you a lot about his character, okay? He was someone that likes to resolve conflicts, okay? And he was a loving individual, imp you know, uh, empathy, um, show compassion and understanding. And like I said, people can, when they notice about you, family, and I always say this, when your light is bright, you're like a, it's like a moth to a flame, you know, here comes the mall because they're to your light. But you don't know the intentions of people, okay? And um, sometimes it just turn people off when you are a person like the way Dylan was, the way Dylan is, okay? I I'm not sensing him. Let me just say that. I, I, say, I already said that in, in my first reading. I'm not, I'm not sensing that he's with us, but we know God all things are possible, okay? Uh, I'm not God. I'm a child of God, but I'm not God. I'm just not sensing him for whatever reason. But uh, I'm just trying to make a point. The fact that I'm seeing, you know, Someone like to resolve conflict, you know, full of love, empathy, and compassion, and understanding, you know, that was feeling characteristic because the spirit is backing that up as far as the, the nice things his mom was saying about him. But, you know, there are people, you know, who like to take advantage of people like that. That's all I'm saying, okay? That's just the point I'm trying to make, okay? People who are the opposite of that. Let me just say that, okay? But anyway, um, I don't want to put too many cards out here. According to the spirit, not only was Dylan held hostage, okay, but he was bound in duct tape, okay? He was bound, duct tape, and can't escape, okay? Bound, duct tape, and can't escape. I'm just going to show you what I have, okay? Lying and manipulative behavior, poor judgment. It doesn't have to be all of it, but what stands out to me is poor judgment, okay? Pretty much Dylan dropped the ball somewhere with somebody, okay? Due to poor judgment. According to the spirit, Dylan had experienced some kind of, um, you know, trauma to his head, okay? In my reading, maybe you saw the gun did come out a gun wound. But anyway, it has here a forced blow to the head, traumatic brain injury. So, and this is allegedly, but they find him, okay? Allegedly, um, he should have some type of um, head injury, okay? Whatever that means, whether it be, you know, a blunt force to the head or, you know, gun, allegedly, okay? It has here, remember that word right there, secretive? Remember that? Secretive, it came back out. Being secretive, holding back, okay? You could say Dylan was being secretive, holding back for whatever reason, or somebody around him was being secretive, holding back. I let me give you the judge. Now, this is the so-called individual. I do sense it's more than one. But anyway, um, it has here, they know what they did was wrong, but will not own up to it. Turn it a blind eye, but they see. So this is speaking about the joker, the so-called suspects that are in the know, okay? According to the spirit, they know they did was wrong, but they're turning a blind eye and they will not own up to it. At this time, they would not own up to it, okay? But they know what they did was wrong. The need for attention, whatever the cause, has insecurities, feel unloved and unsupported. Make peace with your past. Focus on being present. 
creating a better future. So this says make peace with your past. Okay? So that's interesting. Okay, I'm just set this to the side because we already sold it already. Clarity. Thank you. I know those cards drop. I need to look at them, okay? Sometimes I put it back in, but you know. Thank you, Spirit, for confirmation. <clears throat> you see that betrayal remember that word right there betrayal feeling betrayal trauma the pain and emotions due to violate of someone of trust Someone of trust, someone that Dylan knew, okay, betrayed him. You see that? Partnership. That's more than one person. Partnership working together with others. Business, listen now, business contracts for a common goal. So this speaks about partnership and working with others. It also speaks about business and contracts. Pay attention to the key words now. Contracts. Okay? Business contracts. Interesting. I let me be the judge when it comes to that. Now, you can say this partnership word is pertaining to Dylan and those that he was working with. In partnership, or one, I'm gonna say, or two or more coming together, all right, for a common goal as far as taking Dylan out for whatever reason. But and it could be both, but I let me, I let me be the judge, okay? Now, we know that it's hot out there in that desert area, okay? And the person definitely needs um, liquids, okay? They need water to survive out there. So this lets you know not only was Dylan held hostage, but he was somewhere to where, you know, he, he he's somewhere to where he needs water. Okay, he's dehydrated. You see that? Dehydrated. Need more water intake. So if something did happen to him and someone put him in a certain location, okay, um, Looks like to me, you did not give him any water. He's dehydrated and also possibly, you know, injured. Any one of those two can take you out. You're not getting medical attention nor receiving water. It seems like to me, you know, that they just dropped him off somewhere, abandoned him. Wow. I feel like the spirit is narrowing it down, family. It's definitely somebody in Dylan's circle that he's probably working with. Look at this. Lack atmosphere. Now, they talk about your environment now, okay? Your environment. Lack atmosphere of trust due to misunderstanding feelings of need such as trust, intimacy, love, Friendship, no connection. I'm going to read that again, okay? This speaks about the, his environment, okay? The atmosphere that he was in. And he was mostly out there, you know, um, in his, in his work area. I mean, you know where, where he works at. It has here, lack atmosphere of trust due to misunderstanding, feelings of need such as trust, Intimacy, love, friendship, no connection. Interesting. If Dylan was not drinking, because we did see the word drunk. If he was not drinking, somebody could have drugged him. Let me just say that. Okay. 
You see this? Impaired. Weakne weaken, lack, ability, state, body, function. So Dylan was in the Dylan was to where he um was feeling impaired to where he um feeling weak and uh not able to control his body functions. Okay. But what what had him like this? Uh, according to the mom, he doesn't drink. He doesn't do drugs. So somebody had to do something to him for him to be like this, impaired. Weakened lackability state body function. This is a stranger stalker, okay? Unbalanced has a mental conflict. What stands out to me more than anything is a stalker word, okay? Somebody was definitely watching Dylan, okay? Pretty much his every move, let me just say that. I, I'm not sensing that it was a stranger that, that's involved. I'm sensing more than anything is somebody he knows that betrayed him. But the word stalker definitely stands out to me more than anything also, okay? I do not sense that Dylan ran away, or shall I say walked away, okay? Um, This card is interesting, and I'm going to tell you what I'm getting out of it, but I'm going to show it to you, and you'll be the judge, okay? The messages come out for a reason. They're trying to tell us something. They are happy where they are. Talking about Dylan, okay? They are happy where they are. Feeling happy and unbothered. They are okay. Now, I don't know what pops up in your spirit, but what pops up in my spirit is he's no longer with us. He's unbothered, okay, because he is free from the cares of this world, okay? Wherever he is, he's in a good place. Let me just say that, all right? It's not like he's earthbound, unhappy, you know? When I, when I get this car right here, this lets me know he has moved on, okay? And he's happy where he is, okay? In the spirit, because energy never dies. They are happy where they are, feeling happy and unbothered. They are okay. More than anything, um, his family wants to know where his location is, okay? What happened to him? And also, they want justice. But um, I'm sensing that he's fine where he is, okay? Spiritually. I want to move on to the next one, to the other half. Find spirits of clarity, the disappearance of Dylan. Hold up. I am seeking clarity on this. Hold on. Let me find it. <clears throat> I want to know more about this one. They are being secretive, holding back. And um, this one right here. I'm going to leave these two out. Being secretive, holding, being secretive, holding back. Partnership, working together with others. Business contracts for a common goal. Okay. Mm, I'm just fell out like they always do. Experience. Thank you, Spirit.
Now that's interesting. We had saw this card right here. Remember this one? It says make peace with your past. Remember this one? It says make peace with your past. Talking about dealing, right? Focus on being present, creating a better future. Okay? Make peace with your past. Now, I look at this right here, and that's interesting right there. Now, if it's not talking about dealing, it's talking about the individual uh, that has taken part as far as why dealing is not with us, okay? Somebody needs to make peace with their, with their past. Now, look what this is saying. Dwelling on old feelings of hurt or disappointment in victim mode. So somebody's in victim mode, all right? And they are dwelling on what? Old feelings of hurt or disappoint or disappointment. See that? These two go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. But the spirit is saying, make peace with your past. Somebody was not making peace with their past. They were dwelling on the old feelings of hurt and disappointment. And they operated in victim mode. Okay. Interesting. That's interesting. Now, East did not come out in my reading. And I think, I think I forgot which channel I was watching, but um, I think it was something. I think the channel is called Monster in my room, Monster something. But anyway, uh, he's real good, okay? Um, I've got to name his channel, but it's, it's a real good channel. And I, I apologize for the fact that I can't remember the, the actual channel name, but I think it's called Monster in my room. But anyway, um, I don't know why East came out. East did not come out in my first reading. I think I was picking up on West or Southwest. But um, for East to come out, it's, it came out for a reason. And I'm not saying that they moved in around or anything. But um, I feel like this has a lot to do with the individual that's playing a part in this, okay? Um, for East to be coming out. Something about East. But anyway, when I'm watching this person's channel, they were saying towards the East, I think that's a military base, I believe. It's a military base towards the east. Uh, I believe so. And for those who are watching, you can correct me. But I think I think that's a military um, training, a military training base towards the east. I guess it depends on how far east you go. But anyway, east is coming out this time around, okay? But I don't think nobody's looking towards east because I think that's like a military training area. But that's interesting right there. Um... Look at this again. See that? Sabotage. See how that came back out? Sabotage. Was sabotage. Was sabotage push and force inside a deep, dark hole, pit, or off a high cliff? You see that? And please know, there are others that do readings, and they're picking up on the same thing. All right? They put up on the same thing. That's that's interesting right there. Because we didn't see the word dark, remember? And uh, let me see something. Dark came right back out. See that word dark? It came right back out. According to the spirit, Dylan was sabotaged, pushed, and forced inside a deep, dark hole, pit, or off a high cliff. And you can't fall off a high cliff, submerged, Submerged between rocks, still in a, in, a, in a deep, dark area. All right? Please know that, allegedly. Look at that. Back roads, dropped off, abandoned. It has here a wooded area. Or... On side of the road. Now we know outside the road there was evidence that was found, like the shoes and um where the boots and I forgot what else they said they found, okay? Uh and it could be other evidence that's thrown here and there, all right. But it stood out to me more than anything, dropped off abandoned, okay? Dropped off abandoned stand out to me more than anything. Now I think this came out in my first reading. I cannot tell you what this means. 
This says wife spousal abuse. Now let me say this real quick. The James, the PI, he was doing a lot of talking um, when he was on uh, Sleuth Mom. Let me just say that. But he mentioned something about one of these characters was married before. And he mentioned something about abuse, how they were very abusive towards their significant other. Now, many of you can correct me and um, give me give me clarity on that. But who is this individual right here that was known for abuse? That was known for abuse. I don't I don't know if he was talking. I don't know if he if James the PI received his information from, you know, one of the cousins of one of these characters. But he was talking to somebody. They were letting him know that one of these characters was known for abuse. Okay? They're very abusive when it comes to their relationships. And I think they were abusive to their wife or their ex-wife. It's something like that. But it's interesting for this to come out because Dylan's not married. So who do Dylan know that was very abusive to their spouse? It's, it has here wife spousal abuse. That's interesting because this character needs to be needs to be talked to. Just saying. Stubborn, needs mental therapy, acting out, very foolish, mistake, and risk. So this one is acting out, being very foolish, and taking risk. As well as being stubborn. I let that mean you be the judge who this could be, okay? I dealing was human now, okay? Um, but somebody had it in for him. You see that? The victim was assaulted. The victim was assaulted and killed and robbed. And in my reading, it was letting me know that something was stolen from, from um, Dylan. Okay? Something was stolen from Dylan. The victim was assaulted and killed and robbed. Can't make this up. The Spirit said we're not complete. I'm going to continue. Thank you, Divine Spirit. Seek additional clarity on the appearance of Dylan. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Reject it. I'm sure y'all saw that just fall out. Reject it. Came right back out. This playing a big part in Dylan disappearing. Somebody felt rejected. Could it be at the end of the day, you know? Now I know it's a, it's a big old you know gossip that people worrying about his sexuality because uh, one of those cards that I did. Uh, something like that did come out. I, I think I turned it back over because I, I really wanted to stick to the facts of what happened to Dylan. But um, one of my cards did pop up, and um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I showed it or I just turned it over. But um, it was speaking from the perspective of you know someone was holding two energies, you know, um, male and female, and um, that's all I'm going to say. But I really didn't know where that fit in, okay? But it could be possibly, possibly that someone was uh, around Dylan is holding those two energies. I'm not gonna say it's Dylan, but somebody could have been holding those two energies. You know, could be could be possibly you know bisexual or you know whatever the case may be. But anyway, this say rejected, turned down, refused, declined, not accepting or believing something or someone idea. Okay, so it can be from this perspective also. And the only reason I was saying everything because I saw the word lustful. I saw the word lustful. And, I, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, Dylan is working with all these men. Why is the word lustful showing up? Who, who's feeling like that? That's all. But anyway, this speaks for itself as well. Somebody felt rejected. Turned down, refused, declined, not accepting or believing something or someone idea. So maybe someone felt like the idea was rejected. 
okay, and pissed off about that. But I'm still, you know, you know, my little antennas is still going up about the lustful card. All righty. Fight. A fight broke out. Desire love. True love. Feels lonely. Needs love. I don't know about you, but I feel like this is Dylan right here. Okay, he works, work, work, but how do they say all work and no play? Um, yes, he, he was longing for love also, okay? And he was also desiring love. Has a mental conflict. This is somebody, this is someone who has the inability to get over something or someone, okay? And don't forget, this goes hand in hand. This goes hand in hand with um, this card right here. Remember that? Dwelling on old feelings of hurt or disappoint or, or, or disappointment, okay, in victim mode. Somebody was dwelling on the past of disappointment. They have a mental conflict. It has here you two talking about dealing somebody else. You two are not equally yoked. Has no true connection. This is my life and business. He's talking about Dylan now. Listen, listen to what this message is saying, okay? I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to read it. This is my life. And remember the secretive, the secretive uh, card, okay? Being secretive, holding back, okay? Remember that? This is my life and business, keeping this to myself, being secretive, not speaking up. So we know that Dylan had a good character about him, okay? But there were things that were going on with him. Obviously, his mom did not know. Let me just say that, okay? There were things that he was keeping to himself. Obviously, that his mom and dad did not know. And maybe they do, and maybe they do know, okay? Maybe they are in denial. Who knows, okay? But something was going on with Dylan that he came to himself. And he's looking at it, this is my business. This is my life and business. Keeping this to myself. Being secretive. Not speaking up. See that? I want to just clarify. Now, right here, he is acknowledging his mother right here. I was loved by mom, taken care of. So he is acknowledging the mother, okay? I'm going to show you these four. Hold on, family. All right, my little queen came in asking mommy a question. I apologize. Um, where was I? Uh, okay, I showed you this fight. So a fight did jump off. It has here self-sacrifice. Okay. 
And I told many of you, this is one of Dylan characteristics. He's always thinking about others, okay? He puts other needs before his. Self-sacrifice, putting others or someone first, giving up for something with their time to help neglect their needs, okay? But people can take advantage of you when you like this also, okay? This came out. I don't know if it came out my first reading or not. I'm just going to share it. It says maintenance worker has problem solving skills. At the end of the day, somebody that we're close with Dylan, okay, that Dylan knows, um, has problem solving skills. They're good with their hands, okay? They are a mix, Mr. Fixer Upper, if you know what I mean, okay? So somebody has problem solving skills. I don't know why this came out, but it did. I'm going to just share it. Sewage discharged to a drainage into a open body of water lake. Okay, so something about a um, sewage discharge um, near a drainage. Okay. Could be evidence around the area. Who knows? I did show you this one. Desire, love, true love feels lonely. I showed you this one. What they want, they're not getting it at home. Love and nurture affection. So I leave that alone. That's pertaining to at home. You know, uh, it's something that he was not getting at home. Okay. Because it's not like he just believing his mom. Dylan was living wherever he chose to lay his head, okay? If it, if it wasn't his trailer, you know, he would, you know, see his, visit his mom. He'd visit his dad. Or I guess he'd be, you know, where his grandparents live. But it doesn't look like he, it doesn't look like he was living at one particular location. Now, this is very important. I said this in my first reading, and it came right back out. So anyway. Once again, you know, uh, Dylan, mom and dad are looking for facts. You know, they tell everybody, you know, to um, whatever tips that they have, go to the authorities. Don't go to them. Go to the authorities, you know, with the facts and all of that. Uh, but it's crazy. They are saying this, you know, and much love to his family. They are saying this, but they're not even getting any answers from the authorities. So I, I thought that was kind of weird to say that. You know, uh, I know me, uh, I would welcome all, you know, information and I would have to sort it out myself as far as what comes out. But I just think it's interesting for them to say, you know, go to the authorities when the authorities are not telling them anything. And actually, the authorities know more than what they are saying, but they're not telling the family. <sighs> Look at this. Government, now the FBI are involved now, okay? But they own the local authorities are not telling them anything. Public, that means local. Government, <clears throat> could be FBI. But anyway, public or government officials, no action, no action, for whatever reason, no action could be due to lack of evidence. Turn a blind eye. Turn a blind eye. And many of you know who have been watching me. When this card comes out, you know what time it is. Sometimes these cases end up in a cold case. Or the authorities will set their attention possibly on one individual when there are others, okay? And they'll try to, you know, close the case real fast to make it an open and, uh, open and shut case, if you know what I mean, okay? Because for whatever reason, they don't want to put, they wanna, they don't want to put any more resources or time into the cases. When it's like this, that's, you know, that's not good. But uh, time will tell, time will tell, okay? There are some wonderful government officials out here as well as, police officers, but you have a lot of them. It turns a blind eye 
And many of you know this. And when that happened, there is no true justice. But you know what? Well, let me say it like this. The family still would be in the dark. Okay? The estate would still be in the dark. But they don't want to hear anything the public has to say. Okay. All right. I know I would want to be in the know. I'd rather be in the know than be in the dark. And I would be grateful for anyone that's giving me any kind of tips. You know, uh, I would definitely suggest families, you know, have their own private investigator, which they do have if they listen and um, do their own, you know. Sometimes the family do a better job than the police do. I'm, I'm serious. But anyway. But there are some good Police officers out there. Let me say that. <clears throat> okay, Spirit told me to stop. I'm going to use one more deck and I'm going to end this reading. I thank you all for your love, supporting my channel. I thank you for being very patient. Oh, boy. I, I'm very passionate when I, when I do these readings. Um, But the only downside to it, you know... um. Family, you know, when authorities, you know, don't take people like myself seriously and others who are putting the work in and that care and they're trying to share their gifts, you know, when, when they take us as a joke and they don't listen, and no matter, even if any of you go to them, okay, they're, they're not going to hear you. They, they're not, because this is not facts to them, okay? And even if they did receive facts, you know, if, if it's corruption involved, they're going to turn a blind eye. So it's like, what can you do? But if a family member is taking, anything like this seriously you know at least they would be in the know and um they would have some idea of what they are looking at versus being in the dark but anyway um it is what it is all right fam i'm using one more deck and i'm going to end this reading <sighs> I'm going to use one more. As you see, your sister. <laughs> oh, I do have several. Let me just see. Let me just see. Okay, I'm going to use this one. Okay. This is the uh, their present situation revealed deck. One of my homemade decks. Okay. As you see, I have others. Even some with pictures. But um, let me see something real quick. Hold on. Let me see something. Now, I know the Spirit told me to use this one. Let me see something. Okay, I'm going to use this one. Oh, boy. I, I advise many of you, try to be led by the Spirit. Don't go about what you think. It, it's good to exercise your intuition, okay? It, it'll save you from a lot of heartache, and as well as, as it can protect you, family. When you're out here dealing with people, okay? So um, definitely exercise that spiritual muscle that we all have, all right? And I say that with love because people got something for you, okay? Everybody that come in your space does not have good intentions towards you. Well, that's it's too fast. Let me look at let me look at them. They come back out, they'll come back out. Okay, you know what? I feel like this needs to be looked at. Okay, this is a feeling to the body my mother's life concerning the disappearance of feeling. And clarity as well as confirmation concerning the disappearance of feelings. Ooh, 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 ooh. And clarity as well as confirmation and disappearance of feelings.
This keep coming out, and I don't know why this keep coming out. That's weird, but maybe it's pertaining to um somebody that's involved, shall I say? But I'm gonna show this last. I don't know. It came out twice, and, and I keep putting it back in the deck, and it keep popping back out. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this turned over. I don't know why that card keep coming out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop, okay? I'm going to go ahead and stop. Now, you know, this can go on and on and on, okay? But I'm not going to go through all that. Remember, pay attention to the keyword. Go back. Those words that came out when I was using the Shadow Oracle deck. Pay attention to those keywords coming back out in my readings, family. It's very important. It's like the Spirit is saying, look at this, look at this. Okay, but anyway, let's... Go ahead and um, complete this reading real quick, okay? Remember, whatever you've seen here, it is allegedly, and this is for entertainment purpose only, okay, family? It's not facts, but I am led by the Spirit, and this is what the Spirit is revealing, you know, as far as concerning what led up to the disappearance of Dylan Brown, okay, family? All right. I like this card right here. Um, it's very positive, um, but we all know that the family was getting the run, well, he was and is still is getting the run around that comes to their local authorities, the sheriff and all of that. Um, they're keeping them in the dark and they do know what they know, but they're not telling the family anything, okay? Only the very minimum. But who knows, maybe the FBI will start bringing, um, will start shedding light on a lot of this darkness. Let's just hope so, okay? So this came out right here. This is a very positive omen. It has here, be hopeful, there shall be victory and success, have faith. All right, so no matter what you see in here in this reading, um, let's be hopeful to the end, okay? It's about having faith that everything's going to work itself out of, of, as far as this case, as far as, you know, light being shed on the darkness, and um, we will hopefully hear something soon and very soon as far as whomever that's involved will get theirs, Okay. All right, I just wanted to say that. Um, once again, Spirit is sharing with us Dylan character, okay? It has here, 
has a good connection, feels appreciated and understood. Listen to each other's uh, communicate, okay? So this is speaking from the perspective of um, he has a good connection and feel appreciated and understood by somebody. Let me just say that, okay? It pertains to somebody. He definitely feeling like he he definitely uh, is feeling this from somebody, okay? Now this is definitely his characteristic right here, okay? It has here um, unselfish, concerned with the needs and wishes of others than oneself, okay? It has here again, fight turns, deadly, okay? It has here, cover up. And it has here, trauma. The Quintus Spirit dealing have experienced trauma due to a fight that turned deadly, okay? Remember we saw the word regret. It has here regret, forgive, accept, and heal. So you or they can move forward. So obviously there was some misunderstanding between Dylan and somebody, all right? Someone that's close to him. But someone was having a hard time moving past it. Let me just say that. Instead of forgiving and, and letting it go, you know, um, they let it get the, the best of them, shall I say. It has here. Thinking negative, putting others down with aggression, behavior, very unhealthy narcissism. So this is what, this is the kind of energy that was around uh, Dylan, Okay. He was around somebody that uh, was carrying a very aggressive type of energy, okay? Dark energy. And also putting others down. I definitely wouldn't want to think that that's dealing character, okay? It has here that this speaks about feelings. Concealed feelings and intention not being honest. But somebody was definitely holding back and was not being honest, concealing their feelings. Close to home, close by, in the area. You could say Dylan is still close by, near the area, or the individual that's involved is still close by um, in the area, okay? Close to home, close by, in the area. And I just say it, I'm not sensing that Dylan is, is out in the elements. You know, he's somewhere hidden, all right? Because the word dark, they, rep they, they represents healing or covered up. Um, he definitely somewhere secluded and, hid and, and hidden. You know, but um, to me, they, they're doing a lot of walking around on that flat land. You know, when you're high up, and you're looking from a perspective of high up looking down, that's all you see is just flat surface land. You know, um, people have to do a whole lot of what they don't want to do and go inside these caves, go, you know, go between these rocks, you know, up on the hill, you know, looking down in the crest of these rocks, you know, uh, look for any kind of, you know, disturbance, disturbance when it comes to the ground, you know, um, you know, check shades. I mean, they don't have to really be looking in areas like that. Holding on to information due to fear of rejection. They're going to wear rejection. Holding on to information due to fear of rejection being what? Secretive. They're going to wear it again. Secretive. So Dylan was being secretive. Let me just say that now. I'm, I'm definitely picking up on that. But what was he secretive about? 
And this speaks from a perspective of he was holding on to information. Okay? Due to what? Fear. Holding on to in holding on to information due to fear of rejection, being secretive. What could Dylan be holding on to due to worrying about feeling reject feeling rejection from feeling rejection from who? What his family? What what is this big secret that he was holding on to due to fear of being rejected? Due to feel of due to feeling. I'm getting tongue twisted due to fear of rejection, being secretive. Now, this is somebody. Unhealthy boundaries lack sense of self. So this is one who's crossing boundaries. Now, I think the dark web did pop up in my reading that I did on um, Dylan. I, you know, when it comes to crime and corruption, you know... You'd be surprised would be on the dark web, but this says online auction. That says online auction. I don't. I don't know what that's about. And also in my reading, let me just say this real quick. Something about um, lawsuit what had popped up. All right, right. Like right now, they may not. They may not be a big deal. But what is that about? Is that a past event about a lawsuit with dealing in somebody or his parents with somebody? Or who knows, this could be maybe in a near future event, a lawsuit. But they had popped up. But when that P.I., um, James' character was talking, he had mentioned something about a lawsuit. I thought that was interesting. I, you know, at first I was like, well, is he just talking just to be talking? But that when that man talks, he don't be talking just to be talking. Let me just say that, okay? Because he, he's receiving all kind of information from left and right from people who are reaching out to him, telling him things. I just thought that was interesting. This says online auction, whatever that means, okay? It has here a woman, and I was picking up on the female energy before, whether somebody Dylan had his eyes on or it could be one of his female friends. This says woman. It has here explosive, heated fight, arguments. This right here says, Ran away, walked away from abuse or control. Stagnation, discontent, and boredom, feelings of restlessness and impatience surrounds you. Detoxing, abstain from or rid of unhealthy people or things. So this is someone that's trying to detox from unhealthy habits or things or people, okay? Who are negative, who could be also be like draining them, okay? Energetically wise, who are not healthy to be around. As well as backing off from something or someone. It has here both males, and then right here it says juvenile, teen, Dylan was 19 years old, okay, and then it has here female, okay, so this speaks from the perspective of a male or a female teen, I don't know where this fit in at. But I think a young person used to work out there on that property as well, working with Dylan, okay? Um, they could be related to one of the, those um, suspects, one of those men, okay? Um, maybe you can let me know in the comment section, but I believe there was a younger person that was working out there as well. It has here, can't breathe, hands around the neck. I'm going to go ahead and show this. This is allegedly, but it popped up, death.
wants to feel appreciated and valued. Now, this is interesting. It says domestic violence. Now, Dylan is not married. Who do Dylan knows that was known as a abuser? Who do Dylan knows that was married or in a relationship, in an abusive relationship? Someone that's known to be abusive. This individual is playing a part in his disappearance family. It's someone that Dylan knows that betrayed him. Betrayal, betrayal, sexual abuse by a caregiver or betrayal trauma. Interesting. Let me look at this again. The key word is betrayal, okay? The key word is betrayal. It says sexual abuse by a caregiver or betrayal trauma. I'll admit if you be the judge, I, I, would, I would look at the key words, okay? Betrayal stands out to me, and that's interesting. Sexual abuse is popping up as well, okay? Well, somebody could have uh, betrayed Dylan by maybe trying to come on to him. Who knows, okay? But uh, we know caregivers are parent. But anyway, I just thought that was interesting. You know, a parent or a grandparent's a caregiver. But, um, or just anybody who's taking care of you that you live with. But, but that's interesting right there. Betrayal, sexual abuse by a caregiver or betrayal trauma. Hmm, interesting. That's interesting. Probably did see uh, something about holding on to, you know, information being secretive. Due to fear of rejection. What in the world is going on today? What the spirit is trying to say? Now, I just read this one. I just read this one. See? I just read this one. And this came out. Betrayal. Harm within attachments. That's anybody that you're close to. To be family. Or relationships, but I'm gonna read it. Betrayal, harm within attachments, relationships, parents, or child or partner. I let me give you a judge. Okay, this means about betrayal, and it's pertaining to any one of these, okay. Betrayal, harm within attachments. It's a within attachments. Relationships such as parent or child or partner. Or partner. Who is dealing partner? Allegedly. Once again, and I truly believe, I'm hoping it that this is just local, you know, the local authorities, those in power who turns a blind eye. And long as this keeps coming out in these readings, family, uh, we're, the truth will not be televised. The truth will not be televised. A lot of the truth is going to come out, a lot of this gossip that you're going to hear on social media. All right? Like people like myself, as well as those that are in the know, that are in the know and they are, you know, um, contacting people on social media as far as spilling the beans, all right? As well as people need to really, really listen to that P.I. because he may be a little arrogant, all right, and a little cocky, but I sense a lot of truth in what he's saying. That's all I'm going to say, but that's just me. Much love to you all. Thank you for watching. And I cannot tell you what this means. It came out two times. And I turned it over and it came right back out. I'm not saying Dylan got anybody pregnant. According to his parents, he wasn't involved with anybody. He would just work, 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 work. But I say that Dylan was social, okay? Um, it has here a baby alert. Pregnant with child, someone is, okay? Someone is, okay? So um, I don't know why this came out, but it did, okay?
So I'm through this reading. Much love to you all. Thank you for watching. Um, this time I am through this reading, okay? Uh, it is not, you know, I'm just sending much love and light to Dylan. According to the spirit, he's in a better place regardless, okay? So that lets me know he's no longer with us in the physical, but he's always with us in spirit. And uh, I'm just praying his family get those answers that they're seeking, that the authorities are not going to give them. Let me just say that. The answers they're really, really seeking. But hopefully they will get some type of answer when it comes to the FBI, you know. Um, time will tell. Thank you for watching. Much love to you all. And bye for now.